Hi there! In this third volume of the building and painting series, we will be continuing with the build of the new Mens Type 96B. This time, we'll be focusing on the turret and we eventually put the whole kit together. We jump to the 18th step, where we will have to glue together the two main parts of the turret and fill certain holes depending on the version we are building. Always try the fitting of the big parts to make sure everything is okay. Once done, move on and apply some glue. Remember to fill the holes indicated on the instruction sheet. Next, we have some additional protections, covers and the rear panel of the turret. Again, make sure you fill the holes that are indicated for your version. With the pieces already cleaned, we will be placing them and applying glue and pressure to get the job done. For our version, we need to remove a little detail on the top of the turret, and also make two little holes for some parts. Patiently bend the photo edge to the shape you want. Apply some super glue to fix it in place. And use the tweezers to bend it to the final shape. As we said, we already applied some putty to fill the holes, let it dry a few hours and sand it so they wouldn't be noticed once painted. Side protections and the commander side are built in this step. Note that the commander side could be built opened or closed. First, we attach the side armor and details. Before gluing the clear part of the site, we have painted the inside in black to avoid the plastic color to be seen. As with the frontal fenders, we are not gluing the site to the turret to make the paint easier. This is a rather long step. In this, the smoke dischargers, antennas and some more details will be built and glued to the model.
we start with the details, putting them in place and applying glue. Make sure everything is clean of mold lines. Moving now to the smoke discharger subassembly, we have to make two big and two small pieces. We start with the big ones, gluing the tubes to the base. Now we repeat the process with the small ones. And finally, we glue the supports to the turret. To finish the step, we put together the three-part antenna. Make sure you correct the position while the glue dries. Step 22 is another long step where we'll be building the side stowage baskets and antennas. As we've been doing in this build, we recommend you clean all the pieces of each subassembly before proceeding to the gluing stage. We will start putting together the first basket. We first have to glue the two-part outer armor. Then, we move to the sides and bottom using glue to fix everything. Two support links need to be glued directly to the two red, but we will put them after the basket is glued in place.
In this stage, the baskets and their links, as well as another antenna and formation line, will be glued in place. We start gluing the baskets to the sides of the turret. The antenna and the formation light come after that. These are the connectors we mentioned before. Be patient, as they are tricky to put in place. Because of the version, we won't be doing most of the step 24, but definitely we have to glue in place the big handle in front of the turret. The driver's and commander's hatch are built in step 25. Remember to study the sub-assemblies before starting to glue. We painted the interior and back parts of the periscope and signed to avoid the plastic color through the clear parts. Be especially careful when applying glue to the clear parts. Snap in the hatches and glue them or leave them opened. Next, we are building the matlet piece, where the main gun will be placed. Depending on the version, we will have a small rudder on it. Be careful when gluing the vinyl part, as it melts way faster than the steering plastic parts. In step 27, we will be building the anti-aircraft MG. You must be patient and work carefully on this step. Check twice if needed before applying the glue. We also recommend you to dry fit or study the way you are going to build it.
If you aren't going to build the modern remote MG station, then jump to step 29. Here, we are building the main gun and finally putting both main gun and MG in place. For the main gun, we have two parts plastic. We apply plastic glue in a normal way and then fill the gaps using more putty. We have seen this already in this video. Once the put is dry, we have to sand the joints with a thousand sandpaper. We also glue the front and rear parts. Don't forget to put in place the two handles on the side baskets. And with that, we finally finished the build. It's now time to check for possible mistakes and get ready for the paint. And yes, don't worry, in the next volume, we will start with the paint of the model. Stay tuned for more and happy modeling!